interest rates are still hovering near record lows. However, Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen did say earlier this month that rates may need to go up a bit to rein back and, I quote, burgeoning economic growth brought on in part by trillions in stimulus spending. Of course, she also retracted the statement less than 12 hours later when she announced that interest rates aren't predicted to go up anytime soon. That's right, the I predict rates are going up to I predict rates aren't going up announcements less than 12 hours apart from the Treasury Secretary. Political pressure? Pressure from elsewhere? Who knows? But this was enough to put the topic of consolidating and refinancing existing debt back on the table and top of mind again for many of our clients and our subscribers. So should you refinance your debt now and lock in these low rates before they go up, be it for your student loans, mortgages, or credit card debt? Or perhaps take out a HELOC, a home equity line of credit, as another emergency fund? More on the HELOC in another video. Today, we'll be focusing on debt consolidation, specifically consolidating and refinancing credit card debt, and even more specifically, doing this via a personal loan with either SoFi or with Payoff, also known as Happy Money. Which lender is better for credit card consolidation? By the end of this video, you'll know, one, why you consider consolidating your credit card debt and when it makes sense. Two, whether SoFi or Payoff might be the better option for you. And three, which of these lenders is more likely to pre-approve you with a quick online rate check? So that I don't give too much away, I was pre-approved quickly by one lender and outright rejected by the other one initially, much to my disbelief. I seriously can't remember the last time I was turned down for a credit card or a loan. Anyway, life goes on, more on this to come later in the video, and what means for your personal loan application with SoFi versus Payoff. In case you're considering a SoFi personal loan for reasons other than credit card consolidation, such as for a home improvement project, moving expenses, or a major purchase, don't worry, we're reviewing SoFi first. You can also check the timestamps below if you wanna skip ahead. For our loyal subscribers and viewers, welcome back. We love you guys. And for those of you new to Diamond Estic, we love you too. And welcome to the number one place to learn about money, investing, and retirement. I'm Jennifer, and I've spent most of my life in finance. Started working at banks like JP Morgan and Goldman Sachs at the age of 17, and graduated top of my class from NYU and Harvard Business School, studying, you guessed it, finance and business. And now I work with companies like Bloomberg, WeWork, and Walker Edison, teaching their employees all about financial literacy and education. Please note that Diamond Estic is a financial literacy, education, and coaching company, and that I'm a licensed insurance broker. We are not a bank, securities broker, legal, tax, or financial advisor. So what is debt consolidation? Debt consolidation involves rolling multiple debts, usually higher interest credit card debt, into one loan with a single payment, usually a lower interest personal loan. Whereas the average credit card interest rate is about 16%, the average personal loan rate can be as low as 10% if you have a credit score of 720 or above. The lower interest personal loan reduces your monthly debt payment and in theory should help you pay off your debt faster, assuming you change your money habits, curb your overspending, and don't start charging up those same credit cards again. Debt consolidation is also common for folks with many different student loans. Managing your student loans is much easier if you can combine all the different interest rates, payments, and due dates into one payment every month. Take a look at this video here if you're interested in learning more about SoFi student loans and how they compare relative to competitors like Ernest. For this video, we're concentrating on consolidating higher interest credit card debt via a lower interest personal loan. So SoFi versus Payoff personal loans, which one is right for you when it comes to credit card consolidation? I know you won't like this answer, but it'll depend on a number of things, such as your credit score, your income, the loan term you want, how much you wanna borrow, and even where you live, just to name a few. So keep watching. SoFi was founded in 2011 and is now one of the top online lending platforms. It offers loans as well as bank accounts, credit cards, and investing and trading services. 
but its strength still lies primarily in the two areas where it first started, student loans and personal loans. Let's talk about how SoFi and Payoff are similar before we talk about how they're different. Similarity number one, both SoFi and Payoff offer a check my rate option, which is basically like a pre-approval, or in my case, for one of them, an outright denial, rejection. No worries, only hurt my feelings for a few minutes. So assuming you check your rate and get pre-approved, this rate checking exercise will show you the interest rate you'll be charged on your personal loan. The interest rate you'll be charged will change depending on how much you borrow and how long it'll take you to pay everything back. As part of this pre-approval process, you'll be asked for information such as your name, address, birth date, annual income, whether you own or rent, and some other things. And with payoff, you'll also have to hand over your social security number online. It might sound like a lot, but the whole thing took me less than five minutes with each lender. And SoFi and Payoff are telling the truth when they say the rate check won't impact your credit score. We test out quite a lot of financial products and apps, and even I had a few moments of hesitation when I put in my date of birth and social security number. But nope, your credit score is not affected by this rate checking pre-approval exercise. It's only impacted when you actually accept their loan offer and e-sign the loan documents. I've included our SoFi and Payoff referral links in the description below this video. At the time of this taping, if you use our SoFi referral link, you could get up to $310 back if your personal loan actually gets approved. This cash will be deposited into a SoFi money account. Now, this $310 cash back offer is great, but finish watching this video first because there are other important factors you should consider when choosing a lender besides the promise of cash back. So similarity number two between SoFi and Payoff. They offer some of the best personal loan rates in the market. Both SoFi and Payoff say on their website that their rates are as low as 5.99% on a two-year loan. Keep in mind that this is supposed to be available to only those with the highest credit scores. Having said that, take a look at my credit scores. So as I mentioned, if you didn't catch it for the first 20 times, even with these scores, I got rejected by one lender initially. And I'll tell you who soon and what we learned from that experience. And the other lender, the one that did pre-approve me, I can tell you the interest rate I got on a two-year personal loan was way higher than 5.99%. Double that, actually. In fact, SoFi's rates can be as high as nearly 23% and payoffs as high as nearly 25%, depending on how much you're borrowing and your financial circumstances. This is just something to keep in mind because if your rates end up falling into this upper range, you could potentially be paying more by consolidating your credit card debt into a personal loan than if you just left things alone. Similarity number three between SoFi and Payoff you need to borrow a minimum of $5,000. And similarity number four, neither of them charge late fees or prepayment fees. Prepayment fees are fees charged by lenders when you pay off your loan earlier than expected. Guys, if you're enjoying this video, please let YouTube and us know with a thumbs up and a subscribe. YouTube loves all that loving and so do we. It also tells us what kind of content we should keep producing on this channel. So to qualify for personal loan with SoFi, you'll need to meet these minimum requirements. First, you need to be a US citizen, permanent resident or visa holder and legally an adult in your state. SoFi personal loans are not available to Mississippi residents, sorry. Second, you must have a FICO score of at least 680. So a good to excellent on the credit score scale. You can take a look at our videos here to learn more about your FICO score, what impacts it, and how you can improve it. And third, you must be employed, have sufficient income, or have an offer of employment to start within the next 90 days. Now, drum roll please. What is sufficient income for SoFi? 
Right. So SoFi was the one that didn't pre-approve me for a personal loan on the first shot. Payoff did. I used the same info for both lenders in the check my rate pre-approval exercise initially. Annual income of $60,000, loan amount of $10,000, etc., etc. We're persistent though, especially when we're working to get you the best information out there. So we tinkered around a bit. After a few iterations with SoFi, I did finally get a pre-approval for a $10,000 personal loan. But this was based on an annual salary of slightly above $100,000 not $60,000 as with payoff. And again, despite my awesome credit score, my SoFi rate, like my payoff rate, was way above the lowest 5.99% personal loan rate that they quoted on their website. So the cons of a SoFi personal loan are pretty clear here. You need a relatively high credit score as well as a relatively high income level. Now, Let's talk about the pros of a SoFi personal loan because assuming you tick all their financial boxes and you do get approved for a personal loan, there are quite a few advantages that a SoFi personal loan brings with it. One, term availability. You can choose repayment terms ranging from two to seven years, which is more than most online lenders offer, including payoff. Remember, all other things being equal, the shorter your loan term, the higher your monthly payment, but the less in total interest paid overall. And the longer your loan term, the lower your monthly payment, but the more you'll be paying in total interest. Advantage number two of a SoFi personal loan is the co-signer option. You can add a co-signer or co-borrower to your loan. The difference between a co-signer and a co-borrower is that a co-signer does not have access to the loan proceeds, but is responsible for any missed payments. Yeah, co-signers, you don't get a good deal. All the risk, none of the reward. In any case, the co-borrower route is what SoFi will offer to you if your check your rate pre-approval turns into a rejection. According to SoFi, when they turned me down the first time around, with a co-borrower, you can typically get a 20% larger personal loan and a better rate. Moving on to advantage number three with a SoFi personal loan, and that's unemployment protection. If your loan is in good standing and you lose your job, you could apply for SoFi's unemployment protection program. According to SoFi, if you're approved for this program, SoFi will suspend your monthly loan payments and provide job placement assistance during this forbearance period. Basically, SoFi will try to help you find a new job so that you can start paying back the debt you owe them sooner rather than later. It's nice to know that your lender's on your side during tough financial times, but what this job placement assistance actually includes is not spelled out, and some conditions do apply, so if unemployment protection is important to you, I'd suggest reaching out to them via phone to get more details on this. Advantage number four of a personal loan with SoFi is its member benefits. SoFi, like payoff, refers to its borrowers, its customers, as members. And as a SoFi member, you have access to career coaches, financial planners, and events like these. All of which are nice to have if that's what you're looking for in a lender. If not, focus on checking that rate and getting the best personal loan in the market that's also right for you. If your head is already spinning and you need a bit of guidance in choosing a lender or a personal loan that best fits your budget and long-term financial goals, shoot us a DM on Instagram or an email at jennifer at diamondnestic.com to see if we can help you simplify this entire process. Okay, now that we've done a thorough review of SoFi's personal loans, let's move on to debt consolidation with payoff. Payoff was founded a bit before SoFi in 2009 and is available to residents in all states except for Massachusetts, Mississippi, Nebraska, and Nevada. Payoff changed its name to Happy Money in 2017. It's the same company. Payoff only issues personal loans for credit card consolidation. So if you're looking for a personal loan for home renovations or other purposes, Payoff is not an option. Do hit that subscribe button and the notification bell though, because we'll be doing another video soon on the top personal loans for 2021.
regardless of whether you're looking to use that money for credit card consolidation, home upgrades, a wedding, or something else altogether. So as I said before, SoFi's cons are its relatively high credit score and income requirements. These two areas though, that's where payoff shines. First, payoff's minimum credit score requirement is relatively low at 640 compared to SoFi's 680. Be sure to check out our video here to learn more about what impacts your credit score and how to bring yours up a few notches if that's what you're looking for. In addition to the minimum credit score requirement of 640, payoff also requires three years of credit history and a debt to income ratio of 50% or less. Your debt to income ratio equals your total monthly debt payments. That's credit cards, loans, and mortgage. All of this divided by your monthly gross income. Shining spot number two for payoff. It seems to have lower income thresholds. Where SoFi rejected me in the pre-approval process for a $10,000 personal loan based on an annual income of $60,000, using the same information, Payoff was able to give me three different loan offers, all in under five minutes. Mind you, the interest rates Payoff offered me, like with SoFi, are still way higher than the lowest 5.99 rate that they have on their website. But at least I got pre-approved immediately with Payoff. And as you can see here, it's relatively simple to see how your rates and monthly payments change based on the amount that you want to borrow. All you have to do is select a different loan amount. Shining spot number three for payoff, it's made the credit card consolidation process a no-brainer. If credit card consolidation is your main goal, there's no other personal loan provider that simplifies this as much as payoff. Payoff pulls your credit card balances directly from your credit report based on the information you've provided, calculates how much you need to borrow for them to pay everything off, and even offers to pay off your credit cards directly with the loan proceeds, meaning you don't have to wait for the funds to land in your bank account and then pay off every credit card yourself. Payoff does not close your credit cards as part of this process. If you want to close a credit card, you'll need to do this on your own. Also, be aware that the credit card balances that payoff pulls are based off of your most recent credit card statements. So they may not be entirely accurate if you've paid down some of the balances in the interim. Anyway, you can update this information if you choose to have payoff, pay off your credit card balances directly instead of doing it yourself. Payoff cannot pay off American Express cards directly. So if you have an American Express card, you'll have to wait until Payoff transfers you the loan proceeds and pay that card off on your own. And shining spot number four for Payoff, it has great customer service. As a borrower, you get a welcome call from them as well as a how are you doing check-ins every three months to make sure that things are still on track. Now that we've gone through where Payoff shines, Let's move on to the areas where payoff doesn't shine as much. One, yes, we like our listen numbers. So one, and we've already talked about this, you have to use the payoff loan for credit card consolidation. If you're looking to use it for anything else, payoff is not the lender for you. Two, you have less options than SoFi when it comes to term availability. Payoff only offers loan terms between two and five years, Unlike SoFi, which offers loan terms between two and seven years. Three, you can only borrow up to $40,000 with payoff versus $100,000 with SoFi. Four, payoff does not allow co-borrowers or co-signers. And five, by far the biggest disadvantage in our mind is that payoff charges an origination fee. Think of this as a setup fee that's deducted once initially from your loan. So as you can see from our pre-approval here, on a two-year $10,000 personal loan, payoff would charge me an origination fee of $200, which means that the actual amount of money that I would get from payoff is $9,800. The original $10,000 minus the $200 origination fee. According to payoff, this fee can be between zero and 5%, and it's dependent on your credit history and the loan amount. So now you have our detailed review of SoFi versus Payoff. What's next? Here's what. 
Assuming that you live in a SoFi and payoff eligible state, the first thing you should do is check your credit score. All our clients grab their scores from their banking app or from Credit Karma if their bank doesn't provide this info. I've included the Credit Karma link below this video for you to check your credit scores. You can set up your account and grab your scores in a matter of minutes, something nice and handy on your phone. So once you know your scores, if your credit score is 680 or above, consider going online to both SoFi and Payoff to check your rate and loan options and see where you can get the best pre-approved offer. If your score is between 640 and 680, Payoff is your only option. Remember, depending on your financial circumstances, the maximum amount that you can borrow with SoFi is $100,000 and with Payoff, it's $40,000. And if your credit score is below 640 or you feel like you just need some more one-on-one -on -one support on this, DM us on Instagram or drop us a note at jennifer at diamondnestic.com to see if we can help you further with your debt consolidation needs. Remember, a personal loan can be a great way to consolidate your debt, lower your monthly payments and get your finances in order faster, but it's not the only option we can walk you through what else is available out there for you. Thanks for watching guys. And as always, if you enjoyed this video today, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe button. We'll be back in a few days with another money saving wealth building video just for you.